Okay, one more operator I wish to introduce. This one is a binary operator. It takes two arguments. And that is XOR, which is short for exclusive OR. Let me actually type that out. Exclusive OR. If you think of, uh, I don't know, cliques and groups of people, they can be exclusive, or we have an exclusive club and you have to pay big money to go to it. And uh, XOR or, or exclusive OR works very similar. <laughs> it's exclusive. How about that? Uh, how does XOR work? Let me uh, get rid of this. Let's get our uh, bits back on the screen. Basically, we'll start with 0 and 1. XOR, the best way that has helped me for years to think of XOR is to think one or the other, but not both. Okay, if you can get that phrase in your head, one or the other, but not both, you'll be just fine. All right? And what does it mean, one or the other, but not both? Well, one or the other, but not both, if it's one or if it's the other, then it's true. But if it's both, it's not true. Oh, man, that hurt my head saying that. But let, let's see if we can get it down. Okay. One or the other, but not both. Is one of these bits turned on? Okay? It can be one of them. It can be this one, or it can be this one. It can be this one or the other one, but it can't be this one and the other one. Oh, man, that didn't sound very good. Let's try, let me try again. One or the other, but not both. So in this case, we only have one bit turned on. All right, so the result of this is true. Let me change this up. Let's go instead of 0, 1, 1, 0. Well, hopefully you're realizing that the order of the inputs doesn't matter. It's, it's the same result. Okay, it's 1 or the other. Well, it is this one, but it's not the other, so that's true. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's do 1, 1. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're not exclusive anymore. All right, it's this one, and it's this one. It's both of them. It's both. Did you hear that? It's both. Both of them are set to the same thing. So the result of that is actually false. Okay, it's not exclusive. It can be one, or we can exclude that one, and it can be the other, but it can't be both of them. We have to exclude one of them. Okay, now what happens if we get all zeros? Zero and a zero. X or zero, zero. Well, it's one or the other, but not both. Well, in this case, it's not one, and it's not the other. So that gives us a zero as well. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Let me um, let me do a truth table-ish kind of thing. I haven't been calling these truth tables, but that's what these kind of are. Let's do all the possible combinations of inputs that we can have. All right, you see we have zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, zero, and let's do XOR on all this. So. XOR or exclusive OR. Okay. What is the truth table for this? Well, let's look at these two. Is it one or the other, but not both? Well, it's not this one, and it's not this one, so that's false. All right. What about this one? Is it one or the other, but not both? Well, in this case, it's both. So that's false as well. Okay, in this case, is it one or the other, but not both? Well, yeah, it's this one, and it's not the other. So good, that's a one. What's the case here? It's one or the other, but not both. Yep, same result. Okay, so hopefully, uh, a lot of people, they see this XOR and it seems like, oh, I can't wrap my head around it, but it's, don't, don't make it harder than it is. It's, if one of them's turned on and the other one's turned off, then it's true. Otherwise, it's false, right? Another way I like to think about it is if I have two bits like this, I'll say, well, I know it's only true if the bits are not equal. Another way of thinking that is, it's always false, Unless the bits are not equal. So let's look at these two bits. Are these two bits equal? Well, yeah, they're equal, so that's false. Are these two bits equal? I'm looking at these two bits right here. Are they equal? Equal? Well, yeah, that's false. Okay, what about these two bits? Are these two bits equal? No, that's true then. Are these two bits equal? Well, no. So that's true as well. Okay, XOR. So it's kind of, yes, this comes in handy and we'll see it in places. Not as handy as AND and OR and NOT, but. That's that's roughly the idea, or that that is the idea. We'll 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 use XOR in in some programming videos when we get to there.